This video is for everybody, all the parents, all the students. I wanted to share something with you. Um, this is a discussion that we had in class today, and not everybody had class today, not everybody was here today, not all the parents were here today, and I wanted to share this discussion, and I wanted to give you a little bit of a glimpse inside of my mind. It's pretty scary, but here's the thing. I'm always thinking about Taekwondo. I'm always thinking about teaching. I'm always thinking about you guys. I'm always thinking about how I can make myself better, and this is what I thought about today while I was eating lunch. I wasn't thinking about how delicious my sandwich was. I was thinking about what kind of lesson can I teach today. And these are the kinds of things that pop into my head all the time. So uh, I'm excited about it. So the discussion we were having was about, you know, same discussion we've had many times, really, really concentrating on doing everything correctly. Now that doesn't mean that you're not gonna make mistakes. That doesn't mean that you're not going to do it wrong, but you're focusing on doing it right. And then when you make a mistake, you focus on fixing that mistake so that you can do it right. You can do it correct and you just keep going. Uh, making mistakes, figuring out how to fix them, getting advice from other people, and you keep fighting, fighting, fighting for that perfection. So here's the discussion that we had. So I wrote a letter on the board. I wrote a letter on the board here, here, here. I wrote a letter on the board. I asked everybody, what letter do you see? It's not a trick question. Obviously the response is, I see the letter F. My response was, no, it's not an F, it's an E. It's an E. It's an E, but my fault, I forgot a line right here. I forgot this line right here. That was my fault, that was my fault. So then I went on, right? I drew another, I, I wrote another letter. Here we go. Not a trick question, what letter do you see? I asked everybody, what letter do they see? Obviously the response was we see the letter T, the letter T. Everybody thought I was trying to trick them by then. But it's not a T, it's actually a J. My fault again, my fault again. I lost my focus, I forgot to write that, that, that one line right there. So anyway, the discussion is about how important it is to focus on each and every single detail. Because by forgetting one line, I wanted to write the letter E, and by forgetting one small, very simple line, but very important line, by not putting that third line on the bottom, not only did it completely change the outcome and change the letter from an E to an F, as a bigger picture, it completely changed the outcome from being correct to being incorrect. I wanted to write the letter E, I forgot a line, I lost my focus, I was thinking about other things, and I wrote the letter F instead. Same thing, by forgetting this one very simple but extremely important line right there, extremely important detail, I wanted to write the letter J, but instead the wrote, I wrote the letter T. So the discussion was about how important every single tiny detail is. If you're putting together a puzzle and there's 100 pieces, every piece is just as important. Piece number one and piece number 100 are equally as important because if you forget one piece, the puzzle is not complete, right? And this is everything. This is taking a test, this is driving a car, this is doing a job, this is throwing a kick, this is shooting a basketball, this is listening to your parents. Everything is so important and everything is so very detail oriented and it's important that we focus on these things. A lot of the kids and a lot of us, we can say that we've made silly mistakes when taking a test and the question is, which one of these answers is not correct? And we read it as which one of these answers is correct and then we circle the one that we thought was correct by missing or not paying attention to that one very small word but very important not. It completely changed the outcome of me getting the answer correct versus me getting now the answer incorrectly. I'm doing my front kick, right? And I forget one piece here, right? One piece. I forget to chamber my knee. By leaving out that one very small but very important detail, it completely changes the outcome of my entire kick. Doesn't matter if it's strong, doesn't matter if it's fast, doesn't matter if it's high. I left out one very small but important detail, it's incorrect, right? So again, the discussion was about how important every single detail is. The importance of one single line completely changes the outcome from a letter E to a letter F. Completely changes the outcome from the wrong answer to the right answer. So we talk about it all the time, fight for perfection. Perfection is not attainable, but as long as you're fighting for it every single day, you will reach excellence along the way, and this is how you get there, by paying really close attention to every single detail of everything. You're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna mess things up along the way, but if you're trying to fight for perfection, if you're trying to be the best that you can be, if you're trying to do everything correctly, then the mistakes that you make 
are only going to be springboards leading you to a, a, a better kick or a better uh, a basketball shot or a better test, right? So take the mistakes as learning lessons and, and focus on the tiny details. This was the discussion that we had today. I wanted to share it with everybody. So hopefully you enjoyed it. This is what goes on in the side of nine mind all day, every day, always constantly thinking about how I can better myself, how I can better my instructors, how I can better my students. And this is what I was thinking about while I was eating lunch today. What were you thinking about while you were eating lunch today? Hopefully it was something good. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I wanted to share it with everybody. You guys have a good weekend. Make sure you check out the other videos we put out there for week two. And we'll see you guys next week.